Hi everyone, we're here again, as we promised. Uh, we are back in the cold weather of New York after being some days in Miami, warm. Um, as we promised, we want to give our impressions about what we live in, in Doral, Miami, and FIU with Miss Universe. Uh, first of all, I want to say um, congratulations to Colombia, uh, Colombians, and our friend Francisco. Thank you, guys. For the new crown <laughs> of Miss Universe. They, they, they've been waiting for this for uh, 58 years? 57. 57. <laughs> <laughs> So they Something might, like they that, might be happy as we cannot describe how over the moon. <laughs> oh, but, but, I, okay. Well, I wanted to say thank you, everybody who, who we met. It was an amazing experience to be in Miami. It was an amazing time that Absolutely. we all have uh, meeting people, meeting uh, the, the people that is involved in creating and managing these girls, and, and meeting the girls themselves. They were all amazing. Uh, as we said from the very beginning, they were all beautiful. Maybe uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So some some girls might be prettier than other ones for skin, for me, from for us, for anybody. But all of you are beautiful. All of you are gorgeous and have amazing personalities. Um, well, uh, about Miss Universe now. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, my impression. My impression is like um, uh, we witnessed preliminaries, some rehearsals, and finals. Uh, and preliminaries, yes, Colombia shined a lot. She wasn't the only one who shined. I think Ukraine and, and Jamaica also shined in the preliminaries. We had the chance to meet them sometimes in, in the rehearsals. I personally had a, a very good impression of, of um, Ecuador, Jamaica, Spain, um, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Honduras. They were amazing girls, very easy to access, very Venezuela as well for me. Um, my favorite to win the crown at uh, the last minute uh it was ukraine i fell in love with the woman i mean she had an amazing performance in the preliminaries and and she's gorgeous now during the during the finals uh the show itself it was amazing i love the music i love the, the lights i love even though people were complaining about where we were in the fiu arena i think the show on TV must have looked amazing because what we saw there was amazing. Music was really good. It was the heat of Miami. I, you felt that you were in Miami. It was like very lighting and the music. <laughs> the beat, the beat, pa, pa, pa. I love it. Um, <laughs> but as soon as the show started, you know, like the, the first cut happened and I felt so disappointed and so sad because I didn't see uh, Ecuador mostly, Costa Rica, Mexico, and Lithuania. Lithuania. Yes, <laughs> those four girls. I mean, I think they should have made a cut. I was disappointed to see other ones like ne basically Netherlands, Australia, and um, Philippines. USA, she was going to be there, but uh, later seeing USA as the first runner up and Netherlands in top five, ah, probably no, it was a no no. Um, Philippines top ten, sorry, but no. And um, Venezuela, as much as I like her, she she, she did great where she plays. Um, the second cut came over and, and not seeing Italy, who was an amazing body and amazing performance member of the field, please. Not top 10, but for my impression, I didn't like it. And then the next cut came and they cut Argentina, the best body of the pageant. And Spain, from top 5. It was very, very, very disappointing. And once the top five was there, and then the, the questions came and, and, and the answers, I personally think um, the only one who gave the answer to what they were asked was Jamaica. So at that point, I thought Jamaica was going to win and was very disappointing when they called her like four right up. What the reasons may have, the, the organization, the, the, the owner, the judges, whoever they chooses, who plays it. Yes, I am not um, happy with Colombia being being Miss Universe. I'm not, but she's the winner and she's Miss Universe, and we cannot change it. Um, at least I would have liked to see Ukraine or Jamaica uh, first runner up, not USA. She didn't deserve it at all. Dang it. That's my point of view. I mean, she her attitude. I, I saw her behind the the, the in, in rehearsals, and she's not accessible. She's not very nice. Period. Um, she might be probably a very good Miss USA, and probably Miss, Mr. Trump gave her the, the placement of her runner up because she's a good Miss USA. I don't know. And that's it. That's my impression. I, I would have liked to see Jamaica crown Miss Universe. Um, I would have liked to see uh, I mean, Spain top five and probably crown Miss Universe as well, or Ukraine. That, those were my top three. Then. Either one from Miss USA, Miss Universe, I'd be happy. But, Okay, now with you guys, is the powerhouse of beauty, Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> All right, a lot of compromise with that, with that, <laughs> with that uh, name. 
<laughs> and uh, I started with that. I, I, I've been having a little problems with, with being from my country, from Venezuela, because it's, uh, I, I gain a lot of insults, a lot of, uh, uh, how can I say, derogative? Uh, or, yeah, insult. Yeah. insult in my personal in my personal Instagram okay. and, and really uh, I, I don't just because I'm Venezuelan I guess because I express my 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 Your opinions my opinions about this Miss Universe right about the the winner and the one who is, who, who should win which was Jamaica in my my perception so, in my eyes <laughs> so well it is what it is more respect for for the privacy um the show was amazing like like um uh, beto said um I, I like it very much especially uh, because we were right there and, and the show was very well done uh, uh the productions were very clean very very um they really uh, took care about uh, every detail this year. Um, the tops, a little disappointed, like Beto said uh, also. Um, it was some girls that didn't supposed to be in those tops, 15 and 10. And, uh, and it disappointed me a lot, especially when the top five got in, in, into the show and uh, and I didn't see Spain, I didn't see uh, Argentina, um, or Italy. It could be these three girls who complete that top five, and no U uh, USA, Netherlands in that top uh, five. I was very, very disappointed. Also, the, the last disappointment was uh, at the end of, of, of every uh, uh, question round or round question, round question, round question um, I saw that Jamaica was the one who stand out in in, in in both rounds, and um, and I, in my eyes, it sh should be the winner. And um, but you never know what the the organization is looking for. And also what the sponsors looking for, um, but you never know. Um, but the winner is the winner is Colombia, and uh, we are really happy for her. She's and for all Colombians. And yeah, for all <laughs> Colombians. And she, I'm pretty sure she's going to be a really, really, really good uh, Miss Universe. And I'm happy for Francisco also because after <laughs> 57 years. They've been waiting for this queen, I say, and they got it. it. <laughs> and um, so, um, yeah, I'm very happy for that. So, okay. yeah, so all my appreciation of about this last Miss Universe. Thank you, Hernan. Now, Colombia! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. First of all, I want to thank you both of you for, uh, for the congratulations and the good wishes. Uh, this is something that, uh, as you may know, and my fellow Colombians know, is something that we were waiting for a long time. Uh, like, been working, you know, like the organization in Colombia, Miss Colombia organization, been working for a long time, sending really strong candidates every single year. And we were always like right there, very, very close, and we were always like first runner up, second runner up, like for a long time, a lot of, a lot of top costs. Five, okay. Yeah, the five and ten. And, and you know what? At some point, I was really doubting that we were going to win. So uh, it was like really, really a great surprise. For all of us. Many times I also, I also thought that Colombia should have been in a better place than that, just of ten or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it happens to all the countries, I guess. Or you know, like to everyone. It's like that. It happens every year, okay. of course. <laughs> but you know, um, uh, we are really happy. I'm over the moon. You know, I've been celebrating this. I have my voice back because I screamed like all the all the time, and it was my first Miss Universe ever. And since I was a little kid, I've been like following this pageant and just the year that I come to the pageant, we won. So it's like, for me, right before my eyes, I saw Paulina being crowned and that was magical for me. It's like, I can't describe the feeling that I had and then jumping and cheering her and we actually sang the national anthem and we did like a lot of stuff. And I was able to congratulate her best friends. They're so sweet, you know, and, and her uh, coach and 
her designer, Alfredo Barbaza, I gave him a hug. He's very accessible, very nice. So um, it was really cool. And just, just a little thing, uh, like in rehearsal, something really special is that um, I, we were like mingling with all the girls, you remember guys? And all of a sudden she was there and I wasn't aware of that and Hernan her saw her. And, and, and he was like kind of looking at me and see if I was aware of that and I wasn't. So all of a sudden he calls me and I see her and I'm like, ah. my voice was like, I had like a big thing here. And he, so I asked her to, to, to take a picture with me and then, and she was so sweet and then she says, uh, I said, uh, good luck, and she says, I'm, I'm going to give you a hug, and I hug her, and she says, this is the hug of luck. <laughs> so it, it, it was really special, you know, it was really just, just a little thing there, so guys, if you want to have luck in your life, I'm giving hugs. I want to open a little bit. No, okay, so now let, let's, let, let's go fast forward, you know, like uh, about the show, I loved it, it was amazing, it was like a huge party, you know, with all the country children, their, their girls, that was amazing. I love the music because we're Latin, so we like all this bachata and kind of like music and everything. It was really, really amazing. Uh, the adrenaline was so high, like my heart was like here, like ready to jump out of my chest. It was amazing. Uh, and um, the girls were all gorgeous. And uh, just to point that out, all the girls are deserving and all of them have beautiful futures ahead, I'm sure. And just the fact of representing their countries is a big deal. So congratulations to all of you. And uh, to all my fellow Colombians, I invite you to, you know, to, to, to share this, this, this triumph uh, with humility. That's really important, okay? So anyways, um, the cut. Um, I loved uh, some of the girls, but some of the girls, I didn't think that they were going to make the cut. I, I was also very sad not to see Miss Ecuador, for example. She was so pretty and so sweet, as well as Miss Lithuania, Miss Mexico, and uh, Miss Costa Rica was one of my favorite ones. So uh, I think that we agree in those yeah. in those four girls uh, very you were, strongly. You were always a fan of Costa Rica. Oh my God, I love her, and yeah. she's so sweet, and she speaks like Colombians. <laughs> it's just crazy. We speak very alike, so it's, it's, it's like you feel like like very connected toward you know with the accent. Anyways. Uh, it was sad not to see them, uh, also uh, surprising girls like being in the top, uh, but as Hernan said, you know, maybe the judges saw something in them that was very special that made them stand out from the other girls and they made the cut, so uh, that's what happened. Uh, regarding Paulina, of course, she was my favorite from, I, I started like really supporting her since she was crown Miss Colombia and I was very excited, I felt really excited since, that, since then. So for me, like seeing her process was really amazing, she's very disciplined, she's very, you know, authentic now that I've seen like uh, the interviews at Miss Universe she's really doing really well and she's like earning everyone's heart here in the United States which is awesome very good Paulina and uh, and I'm sure she's gonna make pretty good Miss Universe uh, Osmel Sosa is one of the authorities of beauty and he said and I respect that like to be like to take on my shirt now and be a little objective he said the best of all worn so that's big you know for someone like Osmel Sosa saying that but uh, anyhow, I respect everyone's opinions and I know they're divided. And for me, in my eyes, I think that there were like at least five girls that deserve the crown strongly, that were like up there. I don't think uh, Paulina won, thank God, but the, she had really strong competition. You know, she had really strong girls that were just right there. So it wasn't like a, a, an easy win. It was really, really tough competition. And that's what we want to see every year. You know, girls that come with a lot of preparation, with a lot of, you know, uh, insight, with a lot of, um, courage, you know, and, and, and motivation to make a Miss Universe flawless like, like this one, you know. Uh, to end with this, I think that every year, guys, you know, that uh, these things are going to happen, you know, sometimes Miss Universe always brings surprises and always a lot of beautiful girls don't make the cut. It's very difficult. When we were making our cuts, we had like 30 girls and we were like debating, you know, no, I'm, I'm going to put this one, I'm going to take out this one. It was hard. So I bet that for the judges it's also really hard because there's so many beautiful girls there and deserving girls and, shine, and they shine and they're, they're beautiful. So um, that's the sad part of it. But um, overall, I think it was a great Miss Universe. Um, I think that we as friends had the chance to, to connect even more, to have fun with this common ground, which is this passion. And uh, as well as meeting really wonderful people there, you know, in rehearsals and outside, interviewing people, directors of pageants, uh, national directors, or people who work backstage who are really behind all this 
and make this possible for all, all these girls. So thank you all guys. Um, thank you guys for being part of this. Thank you Hernan for uh, allowing us to stay with your daughter, uh, with your sister. She was amazing. Thank you, um, Patricia. <laughs> You are Patricia. awesome. We love you, Patricia. We call her Patricia, like Miss Lithuania. <laughs> Just to add, uh, before we finish, from Hernan, from me, this, we have nothing against Miss Colombia. All the critical things towards the organization of Miss Universe. It's our best section. Not that's, to Miss Colombia it. herself, not to Colombians on, or Colombia. Uh, we have nothing against anybody. Okay, and, and we I are think, happy as well. And I for, think we are forgetting one thing. That. I want to, I want to add that the judges they don't speak English. <laughs> They should have used translators or interpreters for the judges as well, so the girls could understand better the question. Yeah. We were sitting in the, in, the, in, the, in the audience and we couldn't understand what they were asking. Yeah. So that's one thing I wanted to add. And girls, if you see this, keep going ahead. You have beautiful opportunities ahead of yourselves. The new girls that are coming, prepare yourselves. This is a beautiful opportunity, just not to just not, not just to win, but also to have <coughs> great you know doors opened in every area of your lives. And Paulina, thank you so much for giving this beautiful joy to my country, to our country. You are wonderful. I love you so much. Okay. So, that's it for now. We'll see you soon with other things. And keep on watching us. And goodbye. You're the best, guys. We love you. Take care. Peace out. Peace out.